Hello everyone. Welcome to Huawei Cloud South Africa Demo Center. Today, I will guide you on how to develop an OCR web application using serverless architecture. First of all, let's see the demo application architecture design. This front-end application is developed using React Native Framework and Node.js source code, which will trigger different backend functions that are trafficked via API gateway on Huawei Cloud. The front-end application is meant to recognize Thailand ID card using Huawei Cloud OCR service when customer uploads ID card that will trigger serverless function to upload it into Huawei Cloud OBS buckets and then it will trigger another serverless function to invoke OCR API. When results are available, customer will submit the records into backend database. My source code is available on GitHub and you can check it over here. First of all, let's check the serverless function for uploading ID card into OBS. Open OBS console and you will see the uploaded ID images. At the same time, this demo web app is hosted on OBS bucket as well. Another serverless function is called OCR, which will invoke Huawei Cloud OCR API to recognize the ID image in OBS bucket. Let's open OCR console to see the OCR status which just shows you the API call status and monitoring status. Let's see the last serverless function. This function will receive the front-end requests and write the JSON output into relational database service in the backend.
Now checking the RDS for MySQL, which will contain the ID card information. Open a DAS console to access RDS database. Query a table for the ID card. Now, totally 19 ID cards information record is stored. Let's go to the application portal and upload an Thailand ID card. You can see the front end prompt is saying that this is proceeding to upload into OBS and once it is done it will be recognized by OCR. Then you will see the recognized results and fill into the blanks accordingly. Then click submit to backend DB. It prompts you that it's uploading and reflect that the database write is success. Let's query the database. We get the results of 20, which means that the ID card recognition is already stored into the database. You can try another ID card using the same process. Now let's review API Gateway which will redirect different backend functions using the request URL path. You also see the history of function call, status, logs etc.
from serverless function you can also review the logs for further troubleshooting Now let's recap. Being a developer, you can build your web or mobile apps using Huawei cloud services. Typically, set up an API gateway in the middle. Front end will be in the serverless function setup. Back end will be in the format of microservices. You don't have to set up from scratch, but you can leverage platform or serverless architecture directly. For other features and introductions, please look out for more demo videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Cheers.